special rules of citation have been developed for citing Canadian statutes. This Douglas College Library tutorial uses the rules outlined in the ninth edition of the Canadian Guide to Uniform Legal Citation, known informally as the McGill Guide. Statutes are published at the end of each parliamentary session and are filed in the order in which they were enacted. On occasion, all of these statutes are pulled together and put in alphabetical order in one complete set of statutes called the Revised Statutes. Let's navigate over to the Douglas College Library Online Guide to Legal Citation to see some examples of how to cite Canada's statutes. Starting at the library homepage at library.douglascollege.ca, click Cite Your Sources, Legal Citation, and then the Online Guide. Now let's look at the Citing Legislation tab. As you can see, the Statutes of Canada were last revised in 1985. Any statutes in effect at this time will be cited as the Revised Statutes of Canada, using the initials RSC. Here we have a citation to the Privacy Act, Chapter P21. It's cited as a revised statute because it was already in effect in 1985. Note that the chapter begins with the letter of the title of the statute and that the title is in italics. If you're citing a specific section or subsection of the Act, include this in your citation, as we see here in the example below from the Nunavut Act. By adding a comma after the chapter, lowercase s for section, the number of the section, the subsection number in parentheses, and ending with the period. Note, you will have to provide this sort of pinpointing information to any legal source you're citing. For example, to point to a specific paragraph, footnote, number, or similar. To learn more, see the pinpoints tab in this guide. So what about statutes that came into effect after 1985? Let's return to the Nunavut Act example. Any Canadian statute that came into effect after 1985 is considered to be a sessional statute and is referred to simply as a Statute of Canada, indicated by the initials SC. Its chapter numbers don't include a letter because they're published in the order in which they were enacted, not alphabetically by title. The Charter of Rights is not an independent enactment and is cited as Part 1 of the Constitution Act. This is a citation to Section 7 of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Note the unusual placement of the section number right after the title. There are several ways to access Canadian statutes online. The consolidated statutes and regulations are available through the Department of Justice at laws.justice.gc.ca and are updated bi-weekly. The statutes can also be found in the Quick Law database, but this is a fee-based subscription service and is not considered to be an official version. The Canley website provides free online access to Canadian legislation, but although it takes its information from the Department of Justice website, it also does not have official status. If you're citing from a non-official source, this needs to be indicated in parentheses at the end of your citation. Returning to the Legal Citation Guide, you can see exactly how to include Quick Law at the end of your citation. Provincial statutes follow the same conventions as federal statutes. The statutes of British Columbia, for example, were last revised in 1996. The Treaty Commission Act was in effect in 96 and is cited as a revised statute using the initials RSBC. If a BC statute was passed after 1996 and is in an annual volume, also called sessional, it is cited as SBC for statutes of British Columbia. In British Columbia, the official version of the statutes is available in print through the government's publisher, the Queen's Printer. The Queen's Printer also licenses an unofficial online version of the statutes on the BC Laws site at www.bclaws.ca. If you cite a BC statute from BC Laws, be sure to in indicate this in your citation. You can see just how to do that 
here in our online guide. In this tutorial, we took a brief look at the conventions of citing Canadian federal and provincial statutes using the rules from the ninth edition of the Canadian Guide to Uniform Legal Citation, also known as the McGill Guide. For more help, consult the library's online guide to legal citation. Or, if you're using APA style, see the Legal Citation tab in our APA online guide. You can also contact a librarian by clicking the Ask a Librarian link on the library homepage.